you're probably thinking to yourself, what am I looking at and why am I looking at it? But I just want to explain the contemporary significance of the image that you're looking at. And it's an image which connects with something much older. Do you remember the videos I did on the subject of tea leaf reading and the fact that tea leaf reading actually connected to a much older form of divination which was from the strange blobs or patterns which would appear when molten metal or molten wax was poured onto water. During the transition over to tea drinking, it was noticed by a few people that some of the similar patterns that you would get at the bottom of your teacup would be reminiscent of some of the patterns that appeared in the older form of divination. Now, with the advent of modern technology, especially television, new forms of divination have been created. And of course, this is one of the stranger ones, but it's one strange one which connects with certain schools of thoughts, not just divination, but also psychological investigation. Not serious psychological investigation, but more recreational. During the uh, 1960s and 70s, I believe it was, when LSD had become quite a popular recreational drug, there were reports of people taking this drug, tuning their televisions out to white noise and just staring at the dots whilst listening to the white noise and under the influence of the drugs and just seeing what kind of patterns or thoughts or hallucinations would appear to them. And some people would enjoy this. With the growth in popularity of the New Age movement, there have been some people who would use the television set itself as a means of doing some form of path working or astral projection. Again, tuning it out to white noise, watching all the flickering dots on the screen, and going into a deep meditation, but also using this as a tool to expand awareness, or indeed sens sensory awareness of sound and, of course, patterns. Some people would use this to try and deliberately create patterns. They used it as a tool to assist them in visualization. They would try and control the apparent chaos of dots. Not that they were actually exercising any influence with the power of their mind over the dots themselves, but they were seeing whether they could make this chaos develop into some kind of pattern in their mind's eye. Other people would take a much more intuitive and open or receptive method and would just see, again, just like the LSD explorers, what kind of patterns would come forth. There is a school of thought within occultism which says that you can again use television as quite an interesting and also potentially serious form of divination as well, in which you would actually ask a question and see whether the television screen itself, when tuned to white noise, would be able to provide some variety of answer. There are some individuals who I've come across in my various exploits with New Age communities who say they've actually been able to develop some rather interesting results as a result of this. It's possible that the famous Poltergeist film, the first one, done by Steven Spielberg, was in fact partially inspired by this. If you have seen it, you'll notice that the television is a key factor in this particular exercise. Although I personally am unaware of any particular folk myths or legends associated with spirits coming out of white noise on the TV set, unlike the various folk myths there are associated with the Ouija board. But what I thought I'd do, just for fun and just for an exercise, is take this particular photograph of the TV screen and see whether you yourself can have a look into this and write in the comments section below what you think you can see. Your own, you know, input is... It would be valuable to a certain degree, okay? So write it down and let's see what kind of ideas and understandings we can come out with. Remember, I'm doing this as an experiment on you and with you just to see what kind of things you come up with. There are some people who are more heavily involved in ghost hunting who would also use the TV to try and ascertain whether there was some kind of spirit's presence. And some people believe that patterns which look a bit like a devil's head might signify some kind of demonic presence. So again, it is a question of over to you. But let's just try and do this with this one particular singular image and maybe we'll try and expand the experiment to cover more images of the TV screen with the passage of time and indeed some which are photographs taken after or during ritual, for instance, just to see basically what turns up. 
And also I suppose I want to motivate you to be a bit more creative as to the intuitive tools which you yourself use for divination. Okay, There's lots of different ways in which this can be done. But it does depend upon the states of mind or the attitude of mind and the type of focus and attention that you are deploying. So for those of you who are more skilled diviners, you are probably quite aware there's lots of different forms of attention or perception which you can develop, which can allow you to um, get impressions or possibly to create some kind of or variety of divinatory experience, whether it's to do with self-analysis and self-investigation or whether it's to do with investigating a particular pressing issue or problem or question that you've got. It is, of course, possible to create your own form of divination deck using imagery such as this, which although it is random, could in fact somehow be useful to you if you are that way inclined. Okay, so I'm just going to leave this with you. I'm looking forward to your feedback. Let me know what you've come up with and we'll see how we can expand the experiment with a passage of time. God bless.